stress is part of being human, and it can help motivate you to get things done. Even high stress from serious illness, job loss, a death in the family, or a painful life event can be a natural part of life. You may feel down or anxious, and that's normal too for a while. There are things you can learn to manage stress before it gets to be too much. Consider some of these suggestions. 1. Diet. The benefits of eating health foods extend beyond your waistline to your mental health. A healthy diet can lessen the effects of stress, build up your immune system, level your mood, and lower your blood pressure. Lots of added sugar and fat can have the opposite effect. Junk food can seem even more appealing when you're under a lot of stress. Stick to a healthy diet with a few simple tips. Make a shopping list. Carry healthy snacks with you when you leave the house. Stay away from processed foods, and try not to eat mindlessly. 2. Yoga. This is a form of exercise, but it can also be a meditation. There are many types of yoga. The ones that focus on slow movement, stretching, and deep breathing are best for lowering your anxiety and stress. It has been around for over 5,000 years for a reason. Meditation works well for many people and has many benefits. It can lower stress, anxiety, and chronic pain as well as improve sleep, energy levels, and mood. 3. Connect with people. Spend time with a friend or family member who will listen to you. It is a natural way to calm you and lower your stress. When you connect with people in person, your body releases a hormone that stops your fight or flight response. You relax. 4. Laugh Therapy. When you laugh, you take in more oxygen. Your heart, lungs, and muscles get a boost and your body releases those feel-good hormones. Laughter also improves your immune system, lessens pain, and improves your mood for long periods time. Surrounding ourselves with positive and inspiring people can help elevate our mood and talking with someone about intense feelings when distressed can be helpful to reduce stress. Share feelings with a trusted friend, family member, healthcare professional or clergy because, when we share the stress problem, it will help ourselves to lessen the feelings of distress. Some counselors find that participating in a support group with others who have experienced similar situations or events can also be helpful in easing distress. Other than these, there are still a lot of way of managing stress like searching an interesting hobby that suits you really much, something that you enjoy doing, something that can make you forget the problems or the world. Whether it is your passion, or enthusiasm, it is a great way to control your stress. You can go for a walk nearby your home or go for a shop at supermarket. By doing that, you can erupt your stress besides relaxing your mind. This is because, when you are doing something enjoyable, you will be able to forget your problems. When you take a walk, you can watch the sky and get relaxed. If you do not feel like walking around your house, or feeling boring of the same scenery, you can take a ride and go to the lakes or beach. Avoid negative thinking. Acknowledge the positive in your life and begin to re-establish some balance in your emotional register. Avoid focusing on only the bad things that happened during your day, but consider the good as well. You should always stop and count your blessings. Write down even the simplest things that you have and enjoy, a roof over your head, a bed to sleep on, quality food, warmth, security, good health, friends or family. Acknowledge that not everyone has these things, saying something positive to yourself as soon as you wake up every morning helps you feel better immediately. This will keep your energy and mind focused on positive thinking. Be thankful for each day that you have, you never know which one could be your last. 
reinforce your resolve through positive statements such as, I can handle this, one step at a time, or, since I've been successful with this before, there's no reason why I can't do it again. In a nutshell, stress can cause a lot of pain and suffering to humankind. Every day, cases of suicide due to stress are increasing by leaps and bounds. Therefore, we must always stay away from stress and live a stress-free life. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like and press the bell buttons for more videos.